What's up people, welcome to your 45th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get a range of constants. Now, this is going to be about eight times as easier than the last tutorial. So, you know, just suck it up, pay attention. And uh, I try to make it interesting for you. So since we need a range of constants, and we only have three right here, it's not going to be very exciting, first of all. And what kind of range can we get with three? So let's add a couple more of my ex-girlfriends to the list. Um, I had one girlfriend named Nicole, and let's find a description word for her. She was Italian, and I dated her when I was, I don't know, probably like 13. So I'm going to put 13, and don't want that semicolon. And my next girlfriend after this, I would have to say, is Candy. This is when I moved to my new school. She was my first girlfriend. And let's say she was, um, let's put this nice, she was different. And um, sh let's see how old I, I was in eighth grade, so what's that, 14? Maybe I'm wrong, but you know, we don't have time to think, we just have time to do. And let's see, after candy, I got one in ninth grade, but you know, what's the fun in that? There's this girl named Erin I had a huge crush on, but uh, I never went out with her, but you know what, I'm gonna add her to my list because I wish I went out with her. So I'm going to put I wish because, you know, she's like the one that got away. And I had to be like 16 by the time. I had a crush on her for a long time. <sighs> Aaron, what could have been? Oh, anyways. So now we have a longer list of constants right here. So what we can do now is go back in our main method right here. And we'll just keep this one right here. This is what we did in the last tutorial. But let's see. Let's go ahead and make a new line under this for loop. I mean, we might as well keep this for loop. It's not hurting anything. And in case you're just joining us, this for loop pretty much printed out a uh, list of all the constants. So let's go ahead and just print out a line so we can separate this for loop from our other for loop. So system out, did I suppose system right? System out print line. And let's just go ahead and print something like, um, New line, new line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on up in here? All right. Let's just put, and now for the range. The hit cap sucks. Embarrassing. Of uh, constants. So, now we pretty much got this for loop right here. And we just got a line saying, and now for the range of constants. So, well, we just want to be able to see it, see it easier. So, now let's get to the meat of the tutorial. And this is an enhanced for loop to go through the range instead of the entire thing. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is at the beginning of our class, before our class, we need to import something. We need to import the enum set class. So Java .util .enum e -n -u -m -s -e -t. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to use a built-in method called range to... Well, you'll see what it does later. I mean, it's the best way to learn, right? Just to see. So let's go ahead and build our enhanced for loop now, just like last time. It's going to take two parameters. The first one is what you want to name your things. I'm just going to name them people, what you want to name your objects. Now, the second one is that method. Now, we could just plug a regular array in here, but we want to have a range of the array. We want it to start at, let's say, Kelsey. And we want it to end at candy. So, I mean, we can start and end anywhere. So, whenever, like I said before, Java automatically gives you an array of constants in the order that you did them in. But in order to get just a specific set out of there or range, what you need to do is this enum set period range. And the range is the method, and it takes two parameters. From is the first one, so let's just go ahead and write tuna, which is the class, Kelsey, and what's going to do is look at tuna class and find this first constant, Kelsey, and that's going to be your starting point. And for two, let's just put tuna.candy. And let's just go ahead and show, so now we have Kelsey to candy and everything included. That's what that does. It gives you a whole new array. So now, once we have that, we can pretty much just copy what we have up here. Copy. Thank you for that. And we'll paste that out here. 
And so now, instead of an entire array, which was tuna values, we have a specific set in the array, which goes from all the constants from Kelsey to Candy. So now, let me run this and see what we got. Let me exp nah, I won't expand it. What's the fun in that? So now we have our first array right here that has all the information, Bucky to Aaron. That was the entire array. And then we says our line. And then we goes and now for the range of constants and we cut out Kelsey Julia Nicole and Candy so using our enum set class in the method in that called range we we're able to pro provide it with two arguments where we wanted to start and where we wanted to end and this entire thing right here it gave us a new array so s instead of looping through the old array we we're able to loop through this new and improved array to get only a specific set of data. So that is your quick tutorial on my former love life and also um, how to loop through a specific range of an array using this range method right here. And again, don't forget to import this class or else you're not going to be able to use it. So thank you guys for watching. Now you know all about enumerations, constants, and how to loop through them and all and whatnot. I know, how exciting, right? So in the next tutorial, I don't know what we're going to be talking about, but I promise it's going to be awesome. So you might want to subscribe. Just a little hint. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next tutorial.